Hi everyone, my name's Emma Johnson and I was born and raised in York. I went to school at Joseph Rowntree School, so hi, big shout out to anybody who's listening or watching from, from Joe Rowe. Um, I'm a nurse, that's my career. I also happen to be now the Chief Executive at St Leonard's Hospice in York. Many of you may know St Leonard's, one would hope you've heard of it, but we may also have cared for relatives or friends of yours. We are a healthcare provider who care for people with life-limiting conditions, um, terminal illnesses. Um, we care for people sort of within the last couple of years of their life. Um, a typical day for me as the Chief Executive is really, really varied. Many people will say to you that no two days are the same in any profession, um, but genuinely that's true in this one. Um, I have no idea sometimes what is waiting for me as I come through the doors um, of this place. But one thing I do know is that every single day we make a difference to the patients that we care for and to their families and their friends. The bit I enjoy the most about both nursing and being a chief executive now is that care for patients. It's the difference that we make. It's making the last months, weeks, days of, of people's lives just that little bit easier to cope with. We can't change people's final destination. People will die in our care. But what we can do is we can change the journey and we can change the way that they get there. We can support families, we can support patients, we can keep people free from pain, we can keep people um, comfortable, we can help them plan trips, we can help them achieve things on their bucket list. That's, that's really important to us. In terms of my career, in terms of where I've been, um, as I say, I'm, I'm a nurse by background. I worked in Leeds teaching hospitals for many years. Um, I've cared for people on surgical wards. I've cared for people in critical care units. So I was a sister for many years in the neuro intensive care unit. So that's my passion is looking after people um, with head injuries at, at the end of their life. So I've had a really varied career. I came into nursing um, through Leicester University. I was one of the first degree students to, um, to complete the course in, in Leicester. Um, I actually came into nursing because I didn't get the qualifications I needed to be a doctor. But actually, in hindsight, I couldn't have chosen a better career and I've absolutely loved every minute of being a nurse. In terms of other qualifications and things that I've done, I did my basic degree. So I stayed on at school and did A-levels. I then did a basic degree, um, Bachelor of Science degree at, at Leicester um, in nursing. I've then subsequently um, undertaken a number of different courses um, leading to qualifications, but most importantly, the, the learning that I've had from that. But I've also got a master's degree and I'm currently studying for a second master's degree now in, in leadership and management. So your learning never ends in this career and it, you can really take it anywhere. I've got friends and, you know, good friends and colleagues that I've worked with in the past who are working all over the world now in Philippines. I've got, you know, friends and, and colleagues in New Zealand, in Sydney, Australia. People have travelled all over the place with this career and, and that's one thing that nursing does enable you to do. You can pretty much do anything you want. Um, you can care for patients on wards, you can care for patients in, in hospices like we um, have here. You can work in people's own homes, in the community services. You can work in schools. You can, you know, really do anything and, and the world is your oyster. Um, COVID has been really difficult for us as a, as a hospice. We've not only had increased numbers of patients to deal with who have been dying um, of COVID and, and also other conditions, but we've also had to deal with the fact that as a charity, we've not been able to run any fundraising events and our shops have been closed. So lots of decisions have had to be made about how we're going to raise income and, and how we're going to keep the place running. So this isn't just about nursing for me. This is about being an expert in retail and, and shop management. It's about understanding accounting and business um, strategies and, and things like that. So really, you know, I'm pushing the boundaries of, of my knowledge and confidence every single day. What I would say to you, um, if you are thinking of coming into any health profession, but particularly nursing, is absolutely go for it. Don't look back, just go in full pelt and enjoy every second of it. It is such a privilege to care for people when they're unwell, particularly you know, in my line of work now when the people are dying. There is no greater privilege than spending time with people and supporting people. I absolutely love being a nurse and I genuinely couldn't think of doing any other career right now. Um, I've loved every second and I continue to love every second. So I would just say go for it and love it every single minute of it. Thank you.